and hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel it's your boy sir prince 254 and i'm with vera walpa here vera walpa she is also a youtuber just like i and today we have decided to unify these two youtube channels to bring you something amazing vera yeah sure what are you doing? we have a great great contest here so chill relax and listen yeah. we need to talk about these people who are way too toxic huh be it boys, be it girls. It's good to know that they are, they are, are out, out there we have a lot of toxic human beings and they tend to bring it back to you, to paint you the bad person. But why? Let's hear friends here. Yeah. So, like, for me, I have this question. Uh, these ladies, uh, most of them, who are always in like abusive families and stuff, and uh, they say they don't want to leave because they feel like when they get beaten, uh, that is what is true love means. What is your perception of that? I think it um, depends on how they were brought up, like uh, their background. Because uh, maybe someone was brought up when the, the mother and the father were fighting all over. And maybe she grew up knowing that is what, that is what love is. So in their own mind, they think, if you don't beat me, then you don't love me. And the other way is some, they just don't want to go back to their places, to their background homes, because maybe uh, the family tends to be also toxic. So they don't want to go back home. They'd rather stay here with this guy who beats them all over, up and every day. Because they feel like maybe they are, they are good. And these people, this person is providing everything that she needs, which her parents would never provide. Which, that, that goes back to our parents. Usually we, even as young people, we need to know that if, even if you bring a kid to this world, we need to teach them love. So if they go out there, they know there's love and not the other way around. So, okay. Uh, let me ask you this question. Do you think uh, it's good for a lady to stay in such a place? In an abusive place? It's totally not okay because um, as long as this person is beating you, he might be injuring you internally and that one can cause something that is not really good and something that you really don't want to happen and you don't want to put your family in that pressure where you are beaten and you are maybe you have some internal injuries you're bleeding internally and you need uh, quick care like a lot of things can happen you know so you don't need to put you don't want to put anybody in that position so it's not advisable to stay in that kind of relationship because so if you are if you get to know that this person is beating you and it occurs every single time like if it happens more often just run for your life before you die run 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 before it's too late personally my take is uh i think like being in an abusive uh, relationship is so wrong in the first place and uh, the second thing is that a man beating a woman is it's, it's so wrong as uh, we are we are in a civilized state we are in a civilized uh, century like this is not the time to like beat up a lady this is not the time to act for party yeah i like, yeah, like, would rather are... say if you don't want her or maybe you feel like she has offended you just leave just leave, That's what just leave or tell her to leave yeah. either way you cannot stay with a, like a rotten rat inside your house. You'll remove it. You see. So if you don't like somebody, just like just tell, ask them to leave. There's no point of staying with somebody and then like beat them every day and then claim that you love them. That's so toxic. That, that's not yeah. Yeah, uh, it's toxic and selfish. Mm, that's like someone taking you as a hunching bag, which you're not. You're just a human, so please take care of you. Stop letting anyone abuse you. And then uh, there's also like these toxic relationships where at times you see me, I feel this way, uh, where the lady always wants the man to talk about Like, you want the man to like give you everything you don't. Okay, on my side, I think, I think that's not toxicity, but rather being a uh, queen. <laughs> Come on. You want to be treated like a queen. Yes. By you, your king. you want to be treated like a queen. Yeah. I accept that. But you know, there are times where 
you are also entitled to provision or something. Come, come on, look at this. Mm. Uh, when, uh, like in our century right now, uh, we tend to split like responsibilities, right? Yeah. But back in the days, it wasn't that way. Mm. It was uh, it was always the work of the man to provide. We have grown and we've been taught that it is always the duty of the man to provide. Yeah, that's true. But it, to be that way. But things are changing right now. Yeah, the, 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 the more generations comes, we tend things to do change. Yeah. We tend to cohabit these days. But there are people who still love that. Now, honestly, which one do you have? Do you still have the one that men should provide, or you think we should be like happy? Okay, um, I think men should provide, yeah. And also, you as a lady, you're supposed to contribute something. If your man is providing for you, you need to give him peace of mind and everything. And also, a supporting hand, which also try to work and provide, even if it's small, even if you will bring 25%. Then that's better than you just sitting there. That's better than nothing. Yeah. Actually, that's true. And uh, me, what I leave it with is uh, if you're a, uh, a guy out there, if you're a man, if you're a woman, and you're with your person there, like, learn to like just speak it out, you see? Cohabiting. Uh, no, with... no, but uh, at one point, I'd, I'd, I'd love to ask you have you ever been in a toxic relationship or why did you think of uh, this kind of uh, topic why did you choose this specific topic? for me i've been in a toxic relationship okay and, uh, how bad is it it was so bad it was so bad uh have you ever, you see this uh, lady was toxic in that uh you would feel like you want to clap have you ever felt like you're dating yourself it comes to that point like you feel like you're dating yourself and you keep on pushing a stone that comes from it. so it was so bad uh i think she's the one who gave me character level. <laughs> <laughs> all right there yeah, she shaped me in some type of way uh but every time you we, we meet people who teach us right okay then I, i'll ask you another question um how do you know the person is a toxic human being how you know they're toxic? Yeah. When uh, they are not always uh, like for them. Uh, let me give you a quick example. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I, I want you to do something, but uh, the same thing that I want you to do, I wouldn't do it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's toxicity. Like you want me to understand you, but but I won't understand. Yeah, you. but you won't understand. Me. So that's how you know. Yeah, I think that's true. As Prince said, these people will make you not do something. Like, let's say, uh, let me put it like, um, if they see you maybe doing something, it's not that, that you're doing it, literally, yeah. but in their mind, because they're doing it, they think you're doing Thank it. Thank you, yeah, 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 yeah. You find, like, sometimes always feel And like every time, a toxic person will always be there to ask you this and that. They'll be so questionable. So it's so questionable and they want to touch your phone and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll be so insecure. If they see you even speaking to Akibanda guy, <laughs> they'll be like, who is that? Who is she? Even if you look, you stare at uh, a nice lady passing by, she'll be like, why are you staring? Like for me, honestly, for me, I will just like to real quick, real honest. Uh, any place that I always feel is toxic, I'm always like ready to like live. Honestly, me, just yeah, 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 because I, I, I love my heart. I just like want to take care of it. I need peace of mind too. And uh, it comes to a point where uh, these are my final words, by the way. For me, any place that is toxic, I'll always like live real quick because you don't have to be there you see and in a world where there are seven billion people come on don't stress your peace of mind you need it what do you yeah. need them okay what i add up for what chris said is that if you ever stay with some with a person who tends to be so insecure toxic controlling please don't just sit out and run don't let them control you don't let them at all, at all. Just leave because you have to self care. You have to love you. So.
that person doesn't love you that's why he's trying to control you and maybe you're too good for him and you don't deserve it so just i think the mental state matters a lot uh your mental health matters a lot if you're in a toxic relationship and uh you feel like you do not have peace of mind just leave uh, there's no point of you being there and you're not happy you see uh life is short uh you only you only live once and uh you have to be happy uh, the limited time you have spend it being happy that's, that's true. what i can say yeah, that's true so until next time guys just keep saying make sure to be good subscribe like comment and share